Hello everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers and this week's video. As the title suggests, am I going to give it all up? People saying, but I don't, I haven't got a van life because I don't live in a van. Van life takes on many different shapes. Van life, some people is building them, living in them, doing days out in them, weekends away, weeks away. Going to shows, doing all sorts. Well anyway, am I going to give it all up? This is the question. And believe me, it's been a difficult decision and what I really need to do. Because many factors in my life, health is one of them, has made me sit back and think about everything. But on that note, let's get on with this week's video and you can find out exactly what I decide to do by the end of the video. And I hope you're happy with what I've decided and hopefully, hopefully you can appreciate my decision on this. Anyway, let's do it. Oh my god, am I going to do the right thing? Should I let this go? Should I let this go? Oh dear, 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 dear. Am I gonna do the right thing? Should I let this go? Should I let this go? Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh god. I've had it such a long time. Yeah. didn't realize I was actually recording that but um, yeah I'm having doubts I'm not gonna deny yes I'm having doubts anyway another part of this video is as you saw by the thumbnail is this the end of van life for me right I'm not gonna go into long long drawn out um, explanations all I'm gonna say to you is my health has been bad and that became more apparent with my chest when I went to the NEC caravan camping and motorhome show the other weekend and I climbed the wall and I'm terrified of heights so it came more apparent then than ever to me um, when I listened to myself on camera because I had a lapel microphone on um, remote microphone but anyway all I'm going to say is you know my chest isn't great and I have put out on a video previously on one of my vlogs so yeah, it's not fantastic. And, you know, I've been healthier, but it's still not bad enough that it's gonna put me on my back. So is this the end of our van life? Do you know what? No, it's not gonna be. Yes, this van has gotta go. It's going a hell of a lot sooner than I expected it to. This one's gonna be selling, be, sell, be sold to at least closer to the um, International Camp Van Show in June. So months ahead of schedule. So the thing this does do, leaves me without a van to use or a camper van. I've got vehicles, I've got vans, 
but I haven't got a camper van. Which is going to motivate me and boost me more to get Kong the new bus finished. And we are cracking on with that anyway, been cracking on lately, just this is a little bit almost alien for me now because I'm not having, not having a camper van or something around me for a while. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm doing well with that already and it's not even gone yet. He's coming to pick it up today. So, <clears throat> I've decided I am not giving this up. Not because I've got another bus, because I'm not gonna let my health or anybody or anything stop me until I don't have any legs, have any arms, and I can't drive or whatever. So, no, it's not going to be the end. And I had been told me the idea it was going to be the end of it for me. And that may shock a lot of you, especially people that know me, because I've told nobody until now. The, and I've just been away this weekend, and I think this weekend has also helped me in a great deal because I haven't been away since last year um, to a weekend event in the camper van. And I think going away this weekend probably is the main factor that has decided why I am not going to give up van life. I am not going to give up doing what I do because I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream, doing what I love, doing what I want to do. And you know, I, f I feel very, very, very lucky to have the life that I've got. So, no, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to be giving up building them. I'm not going to give up working for people, doing theirs, and, you know, going to the get-togethers, going to shows. It's been a tough decision, because I nearly did quit. But, do you know what? I think as close as I would have come to quitting, no, I wouldn't. No, I'm not. And that is it. I'm staying. I'm here for the long haul. I'm here for God knows how long. And... Hopefully I'm going to see all of you in a field too. I know this is not the longest video and it's not the most happiest of videos, which I do I do apologise for. Um, it's just that, you know, the chest is not great. Um, sorry about that, the other camera battery went flat. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm here for the long haul. I'm going nowhere. I love it too much. And if it is, me in my grave, so be it. I'll die a happy man. That's all I'm gonna say. So, end of an era with this van. Oh my god, already I'm saying it. And any of you that know me and know yourself with your campers and how much they mean to you, because we do put blood, sweat, and tears into these things, and then you use them. You know, I work on other camper vans, I build other camper vans for people, but it's a different story when it belongs to you. And it's been to many places, believe me, all over. The only place I didn't manage to get in this van was Europe, which I was gonna try and sneak a couple of weeks in between now and the uh, International Camp Van Show. But unfortunately, the customer really, really wants my van. And I'm doing a bit of a deal on his vehicle. So it's, yeah. And he'll be literally here in about an hour. So I've really sinking feeling about it i know it's got to go everybody's going to say to me but you're building a new one i know that but anybody who knows you know so yeah onwards and upwards and oh my god i've got a lot of work to do on kong so i hope you're enjoying these videos i hope you find lots of value from it and there'll be lots of lots of videos coming out on kong's build now i've got a few literally waiting to come out I want to get a lot more stuff done first and then start doing regular content just on that build. But it looks like um, I'll be filming and putting them out as I go. There won't be no exact method to it because I seem to be all over on the bus at the moment. And what I'll do um, in next week's video, I will go through the bus at the moment. Uh, what stage we're at with the bus at the moment. Um, a lot of you already know if you've watched TikTok and Instagram. But I will put out a video showing where we are with it, what we're doing to it, and how much more we've got to do. So, it's yes, it, you all know it's another Iveco. Um, it's an RS bus. 
Um, the only way I would describe it is you see lots of these little white buses running around picking grannies up and taking them to Tesco's and shopping and places like that. So that's what it was. By the time it's finished it'll be a far, far cry and a far look from what it does now. So with that, um, again if you find value in these videos please subscribe, please hit that like button and the notification bell it it really really improves my channel um helps me grow um i'm not asking for anybody for money um i know there's a lot of youtubers out there that do patreon and that i will do one day but i don't need to do that yet i don't want to do that yet i want everybody to see what we do get this going we've been going over a year now um it's blown me away i'm totally blown away by my current subscribers and the people that watch me um you you know I feel very humbled for some of the comments that I get from you and I just want to say thank you to all of you and again a big reason for me not quitting is all of you yes it is all of you apart from anything else because the motivation you give me to crack on with this is immense it is totally immense and especially with everything that's gone on going on you know the world's a cruel place but why give up something when you're happy? And I'll say that to everybody. If something makes you happy, it doesn't have to be van life, could be anything. Go with it, follow it, keep going. Right, I have waffled enough. So on that note, I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying really, really well. And most of all, staying happy. Bye for now.